Bro. Officer Hernandez, 146. Okay, who called you? It doesn't matter the water bill. What are you here for? You. For what? What crime? We weren't told of a specific crime. We were told a man was upstairs recording. Yeah. Is it against the law to record in here? No. A sock of recording here? Yeah. As long as you're not disturbing the workers. Yeah, I'm not disturbing anybody. That's all I have to say to you. I'm allowed to record. You acknowledge them allowed to record. And uh, yeah. you can find so out from them what they're calling for. The and, and we can talk after that. After you yeah. get their side of the story, we'll have a talk. Okay. Now that you know members of the public can record, the best thing you do is tell that lady he has the right you know, to record I'm, in here. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm Ask him what, here what was he know, here for? Care. What's his purpose for being here today? Your star number okay. was, sir? I'll take care of it right now, Thank you. Oh, okay. I'll... Body camera on? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, that's okay. We, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get it taken care of. Why do you seem like some type of... Uh, well, that's your assumption. <laughs> whatever. You're going to finish your sentence. We your guess, assumption. Sorry. I'll call you back okay. once we're done. Finish whatever you want. Okay. Yeah. Right? I'm okay. going to have you do the right thing here today. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Can't wait. I'm going to have you do the right thing here today, officer. Okay. Sounds good. If you do the right thing, maybe we'll put you a promotion so you can become sergeant. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. Step by step. Yeah, it hurts. <laughs> I know you are, Trudy. That's okay. We'll take it. Now, is there anything else I'm going to need? Telling her no. You can record in here. So you're going to take Okay, so we're out. There's no need to come back here again. No, you're good. How seriously do you t do you have an oath of office? Now you want to talk to me? You want to talk or do you not want to talk? No, we could have a talk. Okay. Well, I don't want to talk to you. You don't okay. want to talk? How about you do? Conduct your business, do whatever you're doing, and you know. There's no need for unprofessionalism. I'm just saying, do whatever you do. You know what we like to do, my friend? Sure, go ahead. Investigate. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So investigate all you want. How many arrests have you conducted in this year alone? I don't know. Can't you know you? what we do? We reach out to the people that were arrested and we interview them. All right, go ahead. Huh? You may have 99% justifiable it, arrests. It you know, burglars out there, there's people really fighting. There's Some cops do, the, they arrest they criminals, right? But we're just looking for the 1% the that was unlawfully gym, arrested mm -hmm. and interview them sure. and ask them how did the officer handle the situation okay. because we like to promote officers. Do you? We like okay. to also... It's uh, awesome. Know, how do you promote them? How do we promote them? Sure. The people promote them. The people elect them. The people appoint them. The people fire them. How do you promote them? You said that you could promote them. So how do you we, promote them? We. So who? You have a business or something? Who's we? Yeah. We the people. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. But there's no need for you, my man, to come in here and have like some type of iffy feel to you. I don't have any iffy feel to me. That's your, again, you that's your assumption. You I'm not going to. Let me tell you this much. Sure. The video may be, keyword, may be viewed by 100,000 people. Oh, amazing. Well, and they'll have their opinion about that. Oh, okay. All right. Now, how, Is this how you make your money? On views? Now, how how seriously do you take Is this how you make your money? Is this, Is this how you make your money? I don't answer them type of questions. <clears throat> okay, well, let's see. You don't want to have a conversation, you know? Well, so why should I ask you your question here, if you don't want to have a conversation? Let me have a conversation based on your Is this how you're making money? I'm sorry. Let me have a conversation. Is this how you're making money? I don't oh, okay. 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 okay, so then I don't want to talk to you. How about you do your own thing, okay? No, no. Okay. All right? Is there a reason why you're so close to me? Because I can be. What about some, some, some type of personal space? Are you giving him uh, personal space? You're not giving him personal I'll space. I'll tell you what, my man. Go ahead and call your sergeant for me. I'm not going to call your sergeant. You can, you can You're go to required station. to call sergeant. Am I? Yes, you are. Okay. Upon requested by a member of the public. Okay. Yeah. I just don't like the way you're talking, man. So. How's it going, man? Hey, how's it going? Good. 
So Mike, you're asking, I'm Mike Vonish, V O N E S H. Yeah. Call you said you're, asking, you're asking for Tim. Is there a question? Or right. You want to give me an address so we can figure out what we're. No, my man really did the young lady. Yeah, could you do me a favor and just so I can get my business? Hey, yeah, yeah, he's yeah, trying yeah. to conduct business. Don't come this way. Come this way. Okay, sir, can you touch me? I'll move by myself. All right, go ahead. Don't ever touch me again in your life. Okay. Okay, I'm not right. a criminal. You don't okay. touch me. You I'm don't treat me like one. Come this way. He's at, he's just okay. questioning because he's trying to conduct business. But you don't touch, yeah. okay. touch people that have not All committed right. a crime. Okay. Well, what can I help you with, sir? No, the young lady there. Okay, Call your sergeant now. No one's calling the sergeant. Coward. Let me help you. What do you got going? You said you wanted to talk to Tim. Was there an no, inspection the permit? Or? The young ahead. lady, I just asked her for a business oh, card. That's all. Okay. 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 This, is what this thug going. comes in here pushing his weight around. And the lady over there is in the breach of peace. I'm going to press charges right now. I have not explained anything. Because he doesn't know what's going on. Well, I'm here to help you. I'm when you ask for Tim, Tim's one of the inspectors. I'm also a my man. The only thing I came up here for mm -hmm. is I needed a business card of the inspector. Okay. Yeah, that's all it was. Okay. And then the lady decided to call the police because I was filming. Well. Which the police informed, the man over there informed her that he has the right to record. Right. But the way he put his hands on me, he's standing in front of okay. me. Think as far as, yeah. far as the, the girls inside, okay, we've had people come up here and threaten the girls inside. There's nobody in there, so they were. Well, that has off. nothing to do with this I, camera. I, I, I didn't say it would have anything to do with your camera. Business. Hey, drop yeah. something. I can't. The camera or you. Thank okay? You, sir. Yeah. That's all. Um, I can give Timmy, you got a number we can call, or you want to call Timmy? No, We're usually out all day doing inspections. Like I said, my man, I just needed a business card from this okay. window here. Okay. I have other business that are I'm being waited on from within this building, as a matter of fact. Okay. But yeah, I mean, I just came and requested a business card. Um, the lady decided to cause disorderly conduct over here. Okay. No, no, nobody's charging anybody with disorderly conduct. I'm charging that lady with disorderly conduct. That's entirely up to uh, you. What's the uh, lady's name? I tell you what. Yeah. I'm not here to give unless the officer tells me I have to give her your, her name out to you so you can press charges. I I won't do that. Can you? Because I don't think anybody did anything wrong, sir. So, sir, let me help called, you. She called the police. That's do you have? Do you have a complaint? I'm not, I'm not talking to you. Do you have a complaint? I'm asking you to call your sergeant. I'm not going to call my sergeant. Okay. okay. Do you have a complaint? Because I can take a complaint for you. I'm not interested. In, okay, you know what? You want to do that? We'll do that. We'll do that. All right. What's All your right. name? I'm going to put an anonymous complaint at this time. Okay. Well, you can't do an anonymous complaint for You're a breach of peace. Okay. You're dismissed. Well, let's see. I'll talk to you, sir. This this officer right here is he's unspecified. Okay, what's going on? So what's the deal with the young lady over there? You informed they have a right to report in here. I let them know, yes. Yeah, that's all it is. Um, as of right now, she has committed disorderly conduct. 21, 26 1, disorderly conduct. Okay. To disturb another and provoke a breach of peace. What did she do to breach He's peace? a thug. He put hands on me. He breached my peace all because of her. What did she do to breach of peace? Okay, what did she do to breach the peace? She called police officers that essentially he came and put hands on me and he's treating me like I've done something against the law, which I have not committed any crime. Okay. That is, as of right now, these, you two standing here is a breach of my peace. Okay. What she did is she picked up the phone and she transmitted or caused to be transmitted in any manner to a police officer, police officer or public employee, a report to the effect that an offense will be committed, is being committed, or has been committed which at the time there's no ground for believing that the offense will be committed. I simply came in here and asked young lady Summer, which was very a uh, cordial employee, mm -hmm. for a business card. She was gathering that information for me. She decided to make a false police report, and I guess she instructed Kate to press the alarm to call you guys to, to mm -hmm. breach my peace. Mm -hmm. That's why I said, now I need you. You may sound like a reasonable officer, but I can't say that about him. But as of right now, I'm wanting you to write a police report of my side of the story. Okay. And like I said, can you tell me what the employee's name is? No, I'm not. You're not? I don't say her. Okay. It showed before she decided to hide her faceplate. Which she can do. Is there a reason why you decide not to show that transparency and provide her name? She doesn't have to give you her name, and I'm not going to force her to give you your name. Okay. Right. Can I have a business card of that employee? If There's no wants, force. If she wants to give it to you. Sure. Could you ask? This should never escalate this to this. 
it should just be all within integrity. I agree. So why would you come in here and act like a tyrant? An oppressive ruler. That's your opinion. Imagine I put my hand on you like that. That's your opinion. You'll use your badge to... to, to sure. Use your authority okay. under the color of law. Sure thing. So anyhow... Well, what can I do for yeah. you on that? Should I have Tim call you? Do you want to leave Tim a message? No, my or? man. I'm still waiting for the business card of Tim. Could you imagine I've been waiting here already for 10 minutes for a okay. simple business card? I can give you a business card. That's all I was, I, that's all I was asking for. And if I, what I'm saying to you now is if I can help you with it, because I'm here, we're all inspectors. If there's yeah. something we can do for you, if not, if you only want to speak to Tim, you can have Tim's business Yeah, for card. sure. Yep. I'd rather put not it in a problem. Title. Was this pertaining to a job that's being done by your house? Is it permits? Or well, I give me an idea? don't like to discuss that at this time okay. because I got Good enough. the I'll officer give it, here. I will, I will give you his number, and he is one of the inspectors, and the person. If it's pertaining to something you did, he's a guy to talk to. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Mrs. Summer? I have the business card that you were writing out here. Did you have it somewhere back there or no? Oh, but you don't have the physical card back there? Usually. It's okay. Thank you for your effort. Usually those cards are kept in the back. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All the inspectors have them in the back. Yeah, for sure. I'm going to go ahead and put a complaint on this officer for putting hands on me here. You know what we do? We we like to we we like to investigate things. Like I told this officer here, we reach out to everybody. We first we receive all his reports. Same thing with code enforcement, for example. We view all the issues and the citations issued by code enforcement, and we hear from the people's side of the story. Hey, how did this code enforcer uh, or how did this police officer handle the situation? What was the circumstances? What's your side of the story? You know, we like to make sure that the government is being upheld with the public trust, that accountability and transparency is being promoted within our intelligent government, especially in the state of Illinois. When I do plan for a run for office, it's like, you know, I like to familiarize myself with staff all around throughout my state. Okay. And it's our duty, as a matter of fact, to monitor government to ensure it is being conducted in the public interest. So we weave out bad guys like this. And uh, we, 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 what we mean by weave out is we reach out to their higher ups and we put complaints for not knowing how to handle the situation. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Anytime there's somebody that's suspected of committed a crime, that's when the police officer comes in and handles the situation. Mm -hmm. But never put hands on somebody who has not committed a crime in any fashion. So that's just not the way about going about it. You know, this should have never escalated to this. Situation. Okay, she told me she was out of cards. She's out of cards? Yeah, her first name is Evan Mel. All of their information is on the village website. Okay. Sir, besides the information being on the village website, it's required for specific information to be prominently displayed at the public body, mm -hmm. especially Section 4 of the FOIA Act. Mm -hmm. So, regardless if it's online, it shall be prominently displayed at the public body. Okay. So, that throws that online stuff out of the window. Um, could you imagine me coming to the actual town hall just for the lady to be a little not forthcoming and tell me go back online? Leave the town hall just to go back online when I'm here actually to conduct business in person? Mm -hmm. How unreasonable does that sound to you? It doesn't sound unreasonable. Yeah. But anyhow, my man, she did provide you the name. Uh, she did provide you her name. I was able to capture an image of her nameplate before she flipped it over. Okay. Lack of transparency, mm -hmm. but as of right now, do you have a little the memo note with you, or the you know the handwriting? Oh, like a notepad? Notepad, yeah. No, I don't. I stopped using a notepad when we got body cameras. I he has a notepad. He was ready yeah. to assist with that, but yeah, I, don't, I don't use one anymore because I just don't. Okay, I'll give you a blank page. I want to file a report with you, and I'd like to have that in writing okay. before we leave here. Okay. It's basically. Uh, let me know when you're ready to write. Is it about, is it about the filing false police report? Say that again. Is it about the filing false police report? 
It's about she committing disorderly conduct. Okay, so based on the law that you read, you, that is not how that law reads. That's not how that law works. Being incorrect about something to call the police, as opposed to calling and stating on the phone what is going on, is actually not happening. Like calling and saying that you had a gun, that is filing a false police report. Calling and saying that they're make, that you're making them uncomfortable is not a crime. It is not filing a false police report. It is not disorderly conduct under that. Now let me ask you a question. Are you? Do you have? Uh, actual knowledge of what she specified over the phone? She told me what she said when she called. She told you, okay. Here's what we'll do. I'll wait to obtain the phone call. And even call. then, she didn't call the police. The Ooh. silent alarm contacted us. Okay, here's what I'll do, my man. I did hear her talking to the police over the phone. But what I'll do is I'll wait to receive the actual phone call. When I receive the phone call, I'll listen to it, be able to make my determination. If I do, in fact, have evidence and believe, that from that recording falls under these elements, I will press these charges at a later time with your chief, with your record keeper. Okay. okay uh, but as of right now, um, all we were told was that there was a man up on, up on the second floor recording employees. Yes. Yeah, inform him that he has the right to. Yes, I did. So again, the disorderly conduct charge is when someone transmits or causes to be transmitted in any manner or peace officer, public officer or public employee a report to the effect that an offense will be committed, is being committed, or has been committed, knowing at the time of the transmission that there is no reasonable ground for believing that the offense will they be committed. That they, they thought that you weren't allowed to record in here. Being wrong about the law and intentionally misinforming right, right. the police are too... too no, 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 I get that. I get that, my man. But the thing is that um, it's still a breach of peace. You guys came and checked. You guys came and did your investigation. But he did commit breach of peace when he put hands on me and tried to forcibly move me out of the window. So, that's part of the complaint that I'd like to file as well. Okay. Yeah. You would need to go over to the station across the street and do that. Station across the street, okay. Um, who's your current sergeant on duty? Sergeant Klug. You call the sergeant here? Can I call him here? Yeah, I'd like to speak think, to the sergeant. I think he's busy right now. I'd like to speak to the sergeant. It's required by policy to call sergeant when a member of the public asks for it. Okay. I mean, he's busy, but he, so he might not be able to come and just ask you to go over there. 113 from 135. We love good cops. We respect good cops. Could you come over here and talk to them? I have family. They're good cops. I have family that's law enforcement. God bless. They're, they're good, good people, cops. Not just because they're my family. But this, this, look at the way he keeps looking at me. All right, he's on his way over. I'm in. It should have never escalated to this police. How can I help you, sir? You need a business card. Sure. Anything else we can help you with? No, that's all. Are you recording? Yeah, for what reason? Monitoring government to ensure it's being conducted in the public. <laughs> transparency. Oh, okay. Well, here's a smile on my face as a government employee. Have a nice day, sir. You got your business card. Take care. That's all it should have been. But now if it is, Disorderly conduct after we received a call. Set to press charges for an intelligent government employee for use of false police report. Like I told you, set. It's, it's, it's like I told you. What we were told was that you were just out here recording and it was making them uncomfortable. They thought that they could tell you to stop. They really thought that you were the comfort police, that you could come here and enforce comfort. The same law that the same law, disorderly conduct was the same law that they thought would apply here. Under recording. For them as the victims. Because yeah. you were making them well, uncomfortable. Well, here's the deal, my man. Now they are now the employees informed that members do have the right to record. And the reason why members of the public have a right to record is because, again, it promotes accountability and transparency within our government. I told them that. Yeah, my man. Maybe one day you become a sergeant. But like I told you, they were, they thought that they could. They thought they could tell you to stop. Sure, it might be an under misunderstanding. Being misunderstood. Would she be willing to apologize? I will not pursue this this further inquiry if she's willing to say, hey, you know what, I made a mistake. I thought that you can't record in here. And she's willing to just say that. Maybe if you could ask her, uh, there's no, she, she's not forced to do it if it's all under her discretion. But at least that alleviates some of the tension, you know, between this in fact, encounter. Sure, I'll go ask her. My man, thank you. I appreciate that.
Tim usually gets in there at for 3.30. He's out yeah. doing inspection, so if you want to wait for him to get in or you want to leave a message on his phone, he'll get back there right away. My man, thank you okay. so much, sir. No problem. Ryan, right? Oh, okay. Sorry? Ryan? No, Mike. Mike, okay. I didn't get your business card. It's okay, don't worry. Yes, sir. Yeah. I like the way you conduct yourself, my man. You're well, we're just trying to get, you know, smooth, smooth. We're, try, we're trying to turn around and hope we'd have a problem you got. Sure, that's all, that's all it is. It's just communication. You know, like I said, it's unfortunately we've had people in the past come in here and no, threaten and whatever, and the girls didn't, weren't sure. So it no. wasn't against you personally, it yeah. was just they were a little worried about it, and that's why they called. So violence is never the answer. Well, whoever whoever well, yeah, commits you'd violence, you'd police is serious. The people that come in there and threaten us. Yeah. And that's at the time. They felt threatened, not saying you were doing anything. Right, right. And that's why they did No, it. yeah, yeah. They Some people get through. pissed off, you know. Yeah. Misunderstandings happen okay. all, all the time. My man, thank you, sir. Okay. Have, have a good day. <clears throat> so she's now talking to the officer. We're going to make sure we put a complaint on Hernandez so we can go ahead and maintain that. Uh, well, I'm not going to say it in front of him because I don't want him to know what's next, but everything he does is. Uh, PD, public disclosure. Hey, how's it going? Good, what's up? Sarge? Yes. Good. Um, no, the reason I just called is because I wanted your uh, your inquiry here about the situation because the fellow officer here might not know how to handle the situation or went about it the wrong way. He actually went well, casual. Yeah. Good. I have your unique identifier to begin with, sir. What would be my unique identifier? Star? 35. 35. So, um, officer over there, he's, he's a little more forthcoming than this one, but uh, he informed the lady that member of the public have the right to record him here for accountability and transparency. And I wanted to file a report um, of disorderly conduct. You already right? explained that yeah. by him, right? Sir, I'm talking to your superior right. now, please. But to save some time, You're, he already explained that to you, right? Sir, I'm okay. finished talking to you. Anyway, my man, I'd like to file a disorderly conduct charge. Well, right now he's talking to the lady that actually committed, I've been alleged to be committed that crime, disorderly conduct by breach of peace, um, transmit or cause to be transmitted. Okay, I know the law. What do you yeah, mean? yeah, I'm sure you do. Um, so I need a report on that. Okay. My side of the story. That's all. And okay. that will be done? Yeah. Um, should I wait to receive a copy of the paperwork, or how should I go about that? You can you can get it tomorrow. You can get it tomorrow. Should I give you a fax or give you? No, nope, you got to come in in person. Come in in person. You'll you'll have a copy of the report number before you leave. Yeah. And then once whatever is done is done. Okay. It goes through the proper channels, and then <coughs> get it tomorrow morning. My man, what's the call event number, sir? You'll have all of that. Before you'll you get leave. that before. You I can have that now. And we don't have it right now. We will give it all to you before you leave. Could you dispatch? What's the reason that I can't give it to you in ten minutes versus right now? Usually because it's, it's instantly. Okay. You receive the. You will get it when yeah. we are able to provide it to you. What's the name of your lieutenant, sir? I don't have a lieutenant. Oh no. So what's the, your highest next rank? Oh. Commander. Commander. My oh, man. You so little... you don't have you don't have to get it. Yeah. Instantaneously. Right. I prefer to do it. I'm sure you do, but yeah. that's not how we're going to operate. Right. Is there a reason why you're hostile? Does it look like I'm hostile? Of course it does. 100,000 okay. 100, people may view this video. That's fine, and 100,000 people can view it. Yeah. There's no hostility. Now, I know, all now I know where he gets his thuggery from. Okay. Sorry. Let's see what the young man has to say. Good. Good. Yes, my young man. Please don't call me young man. Please okay. Don't like that. So you want to apologize? Of course. Of course. Okay. So I don't want to press charges. I just want to apologize.
apologize for the misunderstanding. It's okay, ma'am. Misunderstandings happen all the time. Uncomfortable. We just felt very uncomfortable. Okay. With you taking us. Yeah, but ma'am, I came and I asked for a business card. She was very helpful. I just saw you with that, and I just uh, because it is a breach of peace when you did well, convey I didn't that know message. That you could do that. Sure. Well, now you know. It's a learning it's experience. My Okay, you have a wonderful day now. So I'm all set from this counter here. Thank okay. you, I did receive the business card. Thank you, Summer. So, all right, like I said, call Timmy. Yeah, my man. You'll be in, and then whatever questions you have on the You've been very close. Yes. Okay. You know, yeah. you need a copy of the report number? Yeah. Follow us down to the squad car. One of my officers can sure. print it out a card and give it to you. Momentarily, from a few minutes, huh? When we get down to the squad, when yeah. we get down to the squad and you can get it from the okay. computer. Like I said, my man, it's disorderly conduct. Whether you believe the interpretation okay. falls under this event or not. Is this what you yeah. needed? That's all I needed from this. Oh, yeah. Gentlemen, okay. have a good day. Take care.